Hello, and welcome to this training video on the SU-25T Frogfoot. Today we're going to go over the employment of laser-guided munitions without benefit of using the Cheval targeting camera. This uh, lesson is going to be mostly for posterity, and just so that you know how to do it, in the case that you need to know how to do it, um, as all of the SU-25Ts have working Chevals, uh, it's not an extra component, it's built into the plane. You may have noticed that uh, we're flying a brand new, gorgeous SU-25T cockpit. We're going to see a version 1.2.8 open beta. I have six laser-guided missiles. Our targeting range, our target range, is over there. Just like in previous tutorials, we're going to switch into air-to-ground mode by pushing seven on the number row above your letters. We'll get your usual ground indication on the lower left of your HUD, uh, but you'll notice that there is no targeting reticle. Uh, we have a weapon selected, the 25 ml. You'll notice on our weapons panel that it is the outermost missile that's selected. We can cycle through our innermost, middle, and outermost. 29L, 25L, 25ML, and you'll notice that none of them have a uh, targeting reticle. So, how exactly are we going to target with these things without using the camera, but also using the laser? Well, in the SU-25T, uh, the targeting reticle won't show up until you activate the laser. Generally speaking, in the SU-25, if you're going to use laser-guided uh, munitions without using the camera, you're going to want to fly over your target area first, uh, which is not necessarily the smartest thing to do. Um, the reason the camera is there is so that you can scout out targets uh, well before getting within range of their weapons, and also uh, to be able to employ your weapons, get a lock, get a hard lock, and uh, got your targets from a safe distance. Unfortunately, if you're just going to try and go in with a laser and no camera, uh, you're getting, you're, you're basically putting yourself at a slight disadvantage, uh, and you're not taking advantage of the uh, benefits given to you by the camera. However, for the sake of learning, let's figure out how to do this. What we're going to do is we're going to activate our laser by pushing right shift and O. You'll notice that now we have a targeting reticle. You move the targeting reticle around using the uh, period, comma, forward slash, and semicolon keys. Those will move it up, down, left, and right. Once you have a target that you want to attack, in this case they look like little dots, I'm just going to point my reticle general area of an up of a target and click my enter key to lock it onto the ground. Like that I am within target range. I have launch authorization and you'll notice that my target ranger changes as I move it. Looks good enough so I'm going to go ahead and fire. Rifle. So away it will track that target or it'll track that point and we have a good effect on target. I'll turn my laser off by pushing right shift and O again. Zoom back out to normal zoom and pull away. Come in for a second pass. And that is pretty much all there is to it. As far as uh, deploying laser-guided weapons without the use of the Cheval targeting camera. If we go outside real quick. See that little glass panel on the very front of the nose of our aircraft? That's where the Cheval TV camera is. I'll notice that it's not an accessory. 
all SU-25Ts come with it. If you're flying the SU-25, uh, the non-T variant, um, the exact same employment uh, method works in that. So now you know how to do it in both aircraft. And that uh, aircraft does not have a target. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull back in. Keep an Springfield eye on my passing waypoint two at nineteen thousand. Target range. And activate my laser again. Slow myself down since seven hundred kilometers an hour is a bit fast. my laser or my designator over a target here get to the ground with enter now the cool thing with laser guided rockets or missiles is I can aim somewhere like that and fire now I can actually move the target designator and since the rocket is following the laser as long as I put the targeting reticle on what I'm trying to hit before the rocket gets there, the rocket will track where the reticle is. So if you need to turn in and you want to fire off a rocket before actually, you know, getting the reticle perfectly aligned, you're more than welcome to do it. Uh, the only problem is if you don't then uh, resolve your target before the rocket hits the ground, like I just failed to do, um, you just wasted a rocket. Now the SU-25T, I don't believe, at this time, has any laser-guided bombs. Um, the laser is specifically for the uh, missiles that we have employ or equipped, and uh, the gun pods, which, as I showed in a previous video, uh, they're not working yet. Uh, there has been a bug report submitted, and hopefully it will be uh, fixed soon, uh, so that you can laser designate targets uh, for your gun pods, and then if you uh, set the SU-25T into uh, program point track mode, the guns will track on that point, wherever the laser is. Uh, makes it really nice for strafing individual targets, if there's a specific target that you want to make sure that you hit bunker or something that, you know, is going to require more than one uh, or two bullets, you're going to need to put a grouping on there. Works wonderfully. Here we go, one more pass. We're already in air-to-ground mode, which is uh, number, number row 7. Turn on my laser with uh, right shift O. Get the LR signal, or I guess. Put my targeting reticle on this guy. Lock him by pushing enter. Fine tune him. Slow down a little bit and I'm actually going to get closer to my target to make sure that I'm targeting him. Looks good enough. Go rifle. Oops. You'll notice my reticle came off the target there. And that was a wasted rocket. You see it's it's very difficult to target things, uh the laser and not using the TV Cheval targeting camera. And field passing waypoint three at twenty three thousand. There may be situations when you need to or want to uh, just do this. I can't think of any. 
I don't think that uh, cheval damage is modeled in this. I think uh, if you get to the point where your cheval's not working, your plane is probably already dead, <laughs> or very close to being so. So I don't uh, actually think that you're ever going to have a broken cheval and uh, need to just use your laser to target things. But who knows? One more pass. Is on right shift. Oh, That's my targets. I'm gonna stay zoomed out here. I'm gonna lock on that point by pushing enter. Fine tune this a little bit and. Should hit. There we go. These are off with right shift O. good thing about the laser is uh, you can fire multiple weapons uh, with one laser pass. You are going to want to make sure that uh, the first rocket or missile hits before you fire your second one because uh, like I said um, the uh, rocket will try and track the laser. Um, it doesn't it doesn't lock onto where you previously fired, it locks onto where the reticle currently is as the rocket's flying, uh, which again makes it nice if you need to correct after you've fired, but uh, makes it a little bit uh, harder to engage multiple targets at once unless you give yourself enough distance to your targets. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually quite a ways out, I'm actually going to lower one stage of flaps. Turn on my laser, I'm just going to lock on the end of the runway here, those guys. I'm going to I'll turn my TV on, not the laser. Ha! I'll explain that. There we go. quickly go over here and fire again. Ah, uh, but I was too too close. Oh well. For the shot. As you can see the TV is uh, quite a bit nicer if you're trying to target ground units. You can see them from quite a ways off. It uh, locks on to targets, so as you're trying to fine-tune your aim, it'll actually snap to targets based on uh, their uh, outline on the ground. So it's second nature to me, because that's what I usually use to attack targets. <laughs> Alright, rifle.
and good effect on target. 